All right, another episode of seven minutes of what? Something. Something. I'm talking about something. So, all right, we want to preface the call, throw a disclaimer out there. We're not, we're not docs, nutritionists, dietitians. We're we're not mental health professionals. So don't mistake what we're sharing for professional advice. We're just sharing what works for us and sharing some some ideas. And today. We wanted to talk about something that is very relevant to the previous couple calls. So, Tim, you want to lead it off? Yeah, we absolutely. Got seven minutes. Timer's going. <clears throat> you got the clock going. Clock's going. I'll let you know. I'll let us know when there's a minute left. Sounds good. Yeah. So we were talking earlier about what we wanted to cover, and we already spoke about health, and we spoke about fitness. So I figured, you know, we may as well talk about the mind achieving mental clarity and not so much about like going back to school or education or anything like that, but we want to energize our mind and keep our mind healthy, just like we want to do with our, with our level of health and our level of fitness. So we're going to talk something about mental health and mental clarity and mental energy and all that good stuff that comes along with, you know, you take care of the body and the body takes care of the mind and you feed the body and then you feed the mind. So it, it all basically plays into the same stuff, right? You all take care of one thing and then you take care of the other inadvertently without really even knowing that that's what you're doing. But <clears throat> you start to begin to build like this, this trifecta of health and fitness, whether it's mental or like emotional or, you know, even in your relationships, I mean, everything's going to start to come together there. But the big thing is, is that I know a lot of people feel like distracted throughout the course of their day, or they have some kind of like foggy headedness going on or something like that, where basically really we want to get into that flow state because, you know, we all love it. Right. I mean, who doesn't like being in the, the, the flow state where everything just seems to roll and you have that nice sense of peace and ease and clarity and things are just moving along and it's just it's effortless right mm -hmm. <clears throat> i mean you go along with that right chad we talk about 100%, that 100 percent, 100 percent. yeah and when you uh an awesome quote i've heard is you know when you're talking being in flow with work when you do what you love you'll never have to work a day in your life when you get in that flow you're just floating floating with the current floating downstream so yeah i definitely hear that and then the next thing you know is it's like you look up at the clock and four hours have gone by and you're like wow it felt like it was 10 minutes it's great man it's awesome you know we all like being there there's nothing wrong with that and now when we're outside of flow when we're stressed when we got stuff going on around us we talk inside out living versus outside in living we're letting the external stuff just weigh us down and overwhelm us meditation can shift that so that we can move towards that flow state and meditation doesn't have to be 30 minutes although a lot of studies are showing that 30 minutes of straight meditation 30 straight not not split up 30 straight minutes of meditation a day is super powerful for just the activity that's going on in our brain uh, dr joe Dispenza talks a lot about it and but 30 minutes doesn't have to be 30 minutes it can be one conscious deep breath so, there's many forms of meditation too right i mean i know from actually doing some of uh dr Dispenza's work he actually suggested about getting into um moving meditation so like you sit down and do your meditation and then when you get up to go about the rest of your day you carry that that meditative state with you so it becomes a moving meditation i haven't gotten to that practice yet but I do remember distinctly, I don't remember what book it was in. I might have been uh, Becoming Superhuman. Did he write that book or am I getting oh, somebody? Oh, yeah, Becoming Superhuman. I'm reading that right now. Yeah, okay. I know um, uh, David, the Bulletproof guy, I forget his name. Mm -hmm. But the guy came up with the Bulletproof diet, the, the fat and the coffee. Yep. He's got another He's got another book that's along the same lines of like being being superhuman. <clears throat> I thought I might be getting the two of them confused, but, but yeah, Joe Dispenza has got a lot of great information about meditation. Um, and it helps to meditation. Sorry to interrupt. Were you, were you finishing a thought? 
No, I was just going to ask you a question. If there was a, uh, if there's a certain form of meditation that you prefer over one over the other. No. And for me, it's just sitting or lying down and focusing on my breathing. A lot of times I'll listen to a meditation app, focusing on my breathing. And <clears throat> I think a lot of times, I mean, I could say I meditated at lunch today for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And in that period of time, I was listening to a meditation app. In that period of time, I actually zonked out. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> five minutes. And I got like three minutes of, of rest. And it, it recharged me. So it doesn't take a lot. So to answer your question, no, I, I just focus on breathing. I'll do, I'll do apps. I'll do sometimes YouTube. But the challenge about YouTube is if you're doing a meditation and say you're deep into a meditation on YouTube, all of a sudden a commercial comes on and boom, you're wide awake. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> kind of defeat the purpose of doing a meditation. I didn't know that they had meditation or commercials on meditation, um, uh, meditation videos on YouTube. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it can be, it can be, a bit of a, <clears throat> then all of a sudden your cortisol levels jack through the roof, but yeah, right. <laughs> there's so many free you, apps out there. Oh my God. Yeah. They're, they're on, they're unreal. My favorite form of meditation is mindfulness. Mm -hmm. So I know I touched on, I spoke earlier about how, uh, like getting into that, that being distracted. I know when I first, when I get onto a job and I'm doing work for a person, we got about a minute um, left just to, just as said. Yeah, gotcha. So I know when I get onto a job and like the very first hour or so when I'm there, it's nothing more than just me relaxing myself and reminding myself, like, look, you know, I know what I'm doing. I'm just in a, I'm just in a funk right now. And in another 15 minutes, that'll go away. So it's really like just relaxing myself into that flow state and allowing myself to get into that, into that flow and into that rhythm. That's one of the biggest things that I do for, uh, for myself as far as meditation goes that's my favorite one to do yeah and they see the more aware you are of your surroundings and of your person in the surroundings the more aware you are the yeah. more it distracts your thinking from the stressful stuff yeah so it takes a level of awareness right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so dude there's seven minutes of something for you yeah there's something in seven minutes of it and I don't know, whoever, whenever you watch this, whenever people are reviewing this, the Patriots are playing a bill. So by the time you view this, there's our timer. Whenever you view this, you'll know, probably know the outcome. So it's a big game tonight. So who knows? Bills could completely blow out the Patriots tonight. Or it could be a good game. That's why they play the game. <clears throat> That's why they play the game. But cool. So we'll build on this in uh, seven minutes or something. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy, guys. Thanks a lot, Tim. Thank you.